Sometime around August or September, your nose begins to itch. Then come the watery eyes and scratchy throat, <clears throat> and the fall allergy season is upon us. The main culprit for 10 to 15% of the population, Ambrosia artemisifolia, a pretty name for a plant otherwise known as ragweed. But why is common ragweed such an issue for fall allergy sufferers? For that, we have to explore its natural history and what makes this weed such a survivor. Seasonal Science brings you Ragweed Allergies. <laughs> it may not look like much, but ragweed has a few characteristics that make it a huge pain in the sinuses. Number one, it grows where people live. Forget cozy, untouched forests. Ragweed is widespread and it survives in mostly human impacted and disturbed areas. This plant thrives in parking lots, on the sides of highways, agriculture, and urban areas. And it not only survives in disturbed areas, ragweed seeds thrive in disturbed areas. Number two, it's competitive. Ragweed germinates early in the season and grows quickly, beating out crops like soy and corn, making it a major weed in agriculture. It beats these plants to vital nutrients and has developed resistance to herbicides and can even withstand super salty beside the highway conditions where other plants wouldn't survive. <laughs> Number three, it uses the wind. Each ragweed plant is monoecious, which means it has both male and female parts. The female flower carries the egg and the male flower produces pollen. Now, neither flower is very big or pretty, which would attract pollinators, but instead, ragweed relies on wind to carry the pollen from the male flowers to the female. Wind travels far and wide, and this makes ragweed a big fall allergy contributor. <coughs> and if you're one of the unlucky, ragweed pollen is seen by your body as a foreign invader. And when this stuff gets in your eyes, nose, and throat, <coughs> the immune war is on, and the side effects? Allergy symptoms. And not to be a downer, but the news isn't very good for allergy sufferers. Studies are showing that higher carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere can actually increase pollen production in ragweed. So as carbon dioxide levels rise, we may be in for an extra dose of fall allergies. Ready, set, get your tissues. Ooh.